Hi, I'm Ashish Mathur. Welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query. In this video, I'd like to show you how one can show multiple text entries in one cell of a pivot table. For this and other MS, MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. Okay, so here's what my data looks like. I have a three column data set with the IDs appearing in column A, prices in column B and the years over here in column C. Now, as one can very clearly observe, there are duplicates appearing in all the three columns. A appearing twice, B thrice over here, X appearing some twice, Y appearing twice and a Z appearing over here and so on. Now, I'd like to actually transform this data set to the expected solution that you see over here on the right hand side. I want the IDs to be listed down uniquely down column E. I want the years to appear uniquely once again in row number three. And in a, at every intersecting cell of the ID and the year, I'd like to see what were the prices. Now, please note over here, the prices are actually text entries. So one cannot create a pivot table from this. So while I may be, I may be able to get a skeleton structure by dragging IDs over here and years to the column labels of a pivot table, I will not be able to get these text entries. Furthermore, as you can observe in every single cell, the number of prices can be more than one and therefore they have to be separated by a comma. So the reason a conventional pivot table would, would fail is that number one, I cannot show text entries in the value area section of a pivot table. And second, even if I could, how will I show multiple of them? Right. So that's what I, that's what I'd like to do. Now I've been able to solve this problem with the help of Microsoft Power Query. Let's exactly see what I did. So I select this, I convert this into a table. I go to Power Query. I say Excel data from table over here. And once I get the data set here, first and foremost, what I do is I right click on the price column and I duplicate this column, right? Now I select any one cell over here. I go to transform. I say pivot my column. So I, I pivot this column, use the names of the column price copy to create new columns. What should be in the value area section? I want the price to appear in the value area section and aggregate function should actually be none. So I select do not aggregate. I click on OK and now see what I've been able to do actually. I've been able to actually for every single ID and year combination get to know what what the prices are per row. Now my next step is to actually concatenate data from these three columns into a fourth one over here. So I go to add column. I say <coughs> merge columns choose how to merge the selected columns separator should be a comma new column name merged i let that stay the way it is i click on ok now for every id and every year i've got a merge column which shows me all the prices and if there are multiple prices i get a comma separated um, i get the prices separated by commas i do not need these three columns now so i select them i right click and i say remove columns now all that's left is to actually un create a pivot table from this. So I select the year, any one cell in the year column. I go to transform. I say pivot column. Use the names in the column year to create new columns. Values should be the data lying in the merged column. Advanced options. I do not want to aggregate. I click on OK. So now I have the IDs down column A. I have the years along the row. And at every intersecting cell, I have what the prices are. Text entries appearing over here. And if there are multiple, of them, <coughs> multiple, I have commas as well. Home, close and load. In another worksheet of the same workbook, I get my desired data set. And just to quickly confirm whether what I've got is right or not, I cut this from here. I paste it alongside to just check my result. So that's a b here, a b here, 9 10 here, 9 10 over here. I get x, x comma y, x, x comma y, y here inside here. I hope you enjoyed watching this short video. Thank you.